Hey, so I just uh, slept through a night and there was a skeleton out here, not infernal or anything, killed him. And I uh, didn't realize I was close, but look at that. Leveled up on uh, Slashy. We're comfortable and we got Bane of Arthropods. So down here we got a uh, plus one modifier so we can add some uh, nether quartz to it. Ooh, nether quartz. Hmm. Maybe that's an idea. Uh, and Bane of Frickin' arthropods. I, I, I don't know if that's random or that's just what you get first on a, a swords in this pack or what. But okay, beta arthropods, our least favorite enchant ever on uh, on swords. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, while we're here, so a couple other things I was going to do real quick. Um, I was thinking about what to do with that single diamond, and turns out this is one of the things I was actually uh, planning to do. If you take a diamond, a chest, and do like this, you can get luggage from open blocks. And uh, that's going to help us move our stuff, and it's going to help us if we go, you know, strip mining or whatever. We can pop him down, and he'll just follow us around, I think. Maybe I got to right click him or something now that opens how it shift right click that breaks uh, he's supposed to follow maybe I'll have to go there he comes just got to get further away oh that's a little creepy all right but anyway so uh, yeah he'll follow us around and if you drop stuff on the ground he'll just eat it all up so you have a nice little uh, chest worth of storage here, and you can tape, take him down and have him follow you around uh, while you're mining and uh, have some extra space. It's also going to help us when we're moving to the new house. Obviously, we'll be able to throw some stuff in there, and he'll just go with us. Now, I thought there was a way to make him stay. Oh, well, here's the question. So if we plop, 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 give him a little bit. So he's got five stuff in there, and then we pick him up. And we put him back down. Yeah, okay. So he retains his inventory. So you don't have to make him stay. But if you want to, you know, make sure he doesn't fall in lava or something, you can just pick him up, put him in your inventory, and uh, and there you go. The other thing I was going to do is, again, don't really want to get stuck here building stuff. But uh, we've got one carrot and one seed. And I thought, let's just go plant those guys right now and get that started see if we can't get uh, a little bit going so we can finally make an iron, an iron hoe or a hoe of any kind uh, so we just made the total van vanilla one there I, we got tons of stuff to plant but um, uh, I just I thought let's just get started here real quick with uh, just the copper or the copper carrot and the um, Carrot and the um, what are the, whatever that other thing I had there in my hand was seed. So we'll just till a little tiny place here for the moment, and um, let's just go ahead and plant these guys down and see if we can't get them to grow. Now wait, are we in? Oh, we're in meadow. Mm. So is there some forest? Okay, I can see, yeah, I see the ground change, so this is going to be forest. Whoa, dog. Yeah, where are these dogs coming from all of a sudden? Because I had not seen them spawning earlier, I don't think. Oh, geez, another scary dark cave that we haven't been into yet. Okay, um, well, yes, you're not infernal. It's just so... Well, you know what? We're oh, and a potato. Sweet. All right, there's some good luck. All right, so let's grab this guy. And we've got a bucket of water. So we're gonna put, we're gonna break these on. Oh, I hope. Yes. Okay. I say I hope they didn't nerf that too. Uh, let's go over here in the forest instead of the meadow. And let's just make a little spot, probably not right next to that cave. Uh, you know what, that's fine, we'll just do it right here. 
little spot. Come on. And we'll just till this up real quick. And we're going to plant these guys right here. So this mm. should be forest. I should have double checked that. But hopefully this is forest here and uh, oh, you can get two vanilla off of it. it. Might make it grow back slower or something. I don't know. Yes, forest, forest, forest. Good. So these guys are going to grow best in forest, etc. And we're going to try to see if we can get a very basic start on some Oh, you can get a bunch out of them. Look at that. I wonder if the more you take out, the longer it takes to grow back or something. I don't know. I might have to look that up. Um, yeah, so we can get lots of vanilla. Still don't really know what we would want to do with vanilla, but maybe something. Hey, heck yeah. Why don't we put a torch there? That's great. Okay, cool. So that was just a couple of real quick things that were on my list. Uh, for next episode, which apparently is right now, or at least that much of it. So, oh yes, right, we moved the dirt. Okay, so we got our luggage, which uh, I'm actually not going to use yet, so let's put him here so we don't accidentally lose him. And um, I think the next thing was to go check f and see if we can get that lava. So, let you know what? I'll just keep recording here and... Maybe we'll find a good way. I thought of a couple of options off camera here. And uh, I think maybe, what time is it? Oh, it must be just about time for the sun to set. All right, let me go sleep through the night. I'll take a look here in a minute, and then we'll uh, rejoin at that point. All right, it's morning, and my thought was to just come on down here. Uh, actually, on that side would be better. And this is where I keep hearing the zombies, so let's light that up a little bit better. I think the lava is like right through here. I just don't know if there's an easy way to get to it. Might be down a little bit lower. Not sure. Okay, so there's a zombie burning up there. There's some more wolves around here somewhere. I see them on the mini map. So my thought was to just kind of go along here. Yeah, let's do that. So hopefully we can get over here. Let's light it up a bit. Hopefully we... Oh, damn it. I figured that out right as it happened. What did he drop? He dropped a silver nugget. Huh. So, yeah. There's more bug blocks over here. Um, looks like they're up higher, so down here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay, so let's just dig right through here. If we don't see any more bug blocks. We can probably get ourselves right over in the lava here. Just, just so, yeah, so tense and worrisome when you die ah, because of things like that. Oh, that. Okay, so that thing just shoots a bunch of fire. Okay. So I mean that's not great. We we don't want to get burned, but um, can we just put a block on it? Can't get to it. Okay, but you know. Okay, as long as you just don't stand on the fire, hopefully we'll be okay. Now, can we just grab this right from here? Yes! All right. A couple of iron orberry bushes. We don't really need those anymore because we can mine iron. Yay! Uh, oh, I, I so want to dig, like, everything. Just grab the tin, grab the bushes, grab the everything, and... It's a terrible idea. Can we get on top? No. All right. Does not appear that you can put a block right on it. Or I'm just not close enough, one of the two. But those are definitely something to watch out for, because that would be a pain. 
Yeah, okay. So, great. We'll just leave that. And we got our lava, which is what we wanted, so let's get on up out of here. And definitely not go over this way. Oh, spawner down there. Okay, uh, this looks like the way out. All right, cool. So, we got some lava. Let me uh, go get the smeltery going. We're going to melt up some uh, iron. And um, and then uh, let me prepare a couple of things quick. I don't know where my other piece of dirt went, whatever. But anyway, yeah, let me go get the uh, smeltery going. We'll melt up, melt up some iron, and then let me prepare a couple of uh, things to make out of it. And then we'll be back after that. Okay, so a uh, couple things. I've uh, melted up some iron, grabbed a couple of blocks out of it already. I uh, see there's a bunch more in there. Well, I melted up all the iron that uh, that we had. And we're still pretty good on fuel. Um, there's something I do want to make. And I need a tough a stone? Tough? No. Just a tough rod. And we'll use this to make the cast uh, in a minute. But to do that, we're going to need aluminum and copper. And it turns out we can melt these copper heads, uh, copper axe head and... Uh, shovel head down that I accidentally made, well, made trying to make a mattock, which didn't work. Uh, but so they're not a total loss. Looks like we can melt them down and uh, get the copper back out of them. So that aluminum and that copper I think is going to give us some aluminum brass and we'll be able to make the cast for the tough rod. And then I, th I think that'll be an extra piece of copper for us or two, hopefully, probably just one, and uh, that'll that'll let us repair the shovel, because that's the last piece of copper. I repaired all the rest, and we're out at this point. Bane of arthropods. I mean, really, I may look that up, and if that's if that's random, I may just make a brand new sword and start over. All right, what do we got? Two aluminum, two aluminum. Oh shoot! Right. Um. It's three aluminum, one copper. So let me get one ingot of copper out first. Lop. Oh, shoot. I'm glad I missed because what I want to do is get the copper to the bottom. Click. Come on. Oh, it's tiny. All right, so the copper is at the bottom, and then, <clears throat> then there's a little bit of a... Oh, we did get some aluminum brass. An extra aluminum? Okay, I'm com I'm confused. So I got two ingots of molten copper, one ingot of molten br aluminum brass. Strange. Okay, well, what I want is to get the copper out first. And let's get them both. We can always remelt it if we need to. Really not sure what happened there. There must have been like you got one and a half back. Oh yeah, and I was going to melt those and get another gold ingot too. Oh yeah, so now the aluminum brass should be at the bottom. This interface could be a little bit bigger. Although I guess I'm not running on the hugest size. Okay, but that's cool. So we should be able to get this cast. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the tough rods take three, um, take three ingots worth. I presumed the cast would still only take one, but apparently not. Alright, so we're going to need a little more aluminum. Is it in here? Yes. And maybe a little bit more copper. Let's, uh... Yeah, because I took all the copper out. So let's put one more copper back in. Use up some more lava. That's going to give us four aluminum and one copper. Which I, I'm i not sure how much that's going to give. Is that just one aluminum brass? Or is that... You know, this is worth two. That's worth one. So that's 
three ingots. Is that going to give us one ingot of aluminum brass? I don't know. Okay, so now we got four. Oh, that aluminum brass wasn't really there. That's what it was. Looks like it was a rendering bug of some kind because it just disappeared once we got that aluminum up. It must not have combined properly or something. Oh, we're still going to run out of lava. Okay, now now we have four ingots of aluminum brass. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Can I get my... No? Seriously? There it goes. Jeez. Okay, so I got the cast. And we've got... Yeah, okay, it just took one. So something was goofy there because of the way I melted those, I guess. So we've got enough to make three more. Uh, let's come back to that. I'm just going to click the iron down to the bottom. And uh, what I want to make is the uh, knapsack. So this guy is a knapsack to hold your things. It's going to take gold or aluminum brass. We just got some gold though, so that's cool. And it's going to take iron tough handles, tough rods. Oh, and it's going to take leather. And we haven't been killing cows. But we did just plant some wool. So, anyway, let's get the uh, pieces we need here. Because we've got a bunch of extra iron, and that knapsack's going to be handy to uh, be able to help carry more stuff with us. We're going to get wrenches and hammers and uh, mattocks and, I don't know, all sorts of crazy stuff to carry around. Alright, so that's actually just going to go back in here for the moment. Where's the tough one? There's the tough rod. I have to go get some leather figured out. Uh, okay, so we want to make an upgrade for the sword, the pick, the uh, shovel, and the axe. Let's do the sword first. While that's going, let me get the shovel finished repairing. Okay. Pickaxe. I debated whether to bother to upgrade the shovel and the uh, hatchet or not. I mean, the copper ones would keep working. You probably don't have to upgrade it, but I figured what the heck. We've got it, uh, so let's just go ahead and do it. All right, let's do our upgrades, and uh, we should be able to get a new sword out of this. You know what? Let me put it in the uh, tinker's table here for a minute and see. Does this, like, tell us what what cool things are going to change. All right, so here we have just the basic sword. Uh, three hearts attack, one modifier, anti-spider. Oh, dear. Uh, and if we put this blade on it, yeah, okay, so now it's going to be... It's got reinforced on it. It's still got three hearts of attack. And it's up the durability a bit. So, okay, I mean, you know, this this is a little better, but looks like we don't really get more damage out of this. Um, just a little bit of reinforcement and a little better durability. So, okay. Now this guy, uh, we're going to go from a copper pickaxe head with a zombie head on it to an iron one without. And we're going to get reinforced from the iron, so that's cool. But the mining level is going to stay at iron because we don't have a, uh, it's actually a creeper head that you would attack to this, attach to this. So it says requires boost, right? So you got to get some more boost XP. Oh, oh, that is excellent. If that really stays at 90% boost, oh, so yeah, that's fantastic. So that means when that gets to 100, it'll go up to the next level. We can mine 10. I wonder if I can, like if we got a creeper head, we could do that again without going over 100, and we would have, we would be able to boost it like two levels down instead of right now. Uh, anyway, what does this do? Anything? Uh, oh, okay. So there is iron gravel uh, in the world, so maybe this is useful, right? So we can mine iron instead of copper if we find the gravel. And uh, the speed goes up a little bit. The durability goes up pretty good. So, so that's a nice little upgrade. 
And finally, we're going to go from a 180 mining speed 5 to a 250 mining speed 6. I don't think the mining level matters on the hatchet. I don't think there's any iron wood or anything like that. Um, actually, there is iron wood in the Twilight Forest, but that's a whole different deal. All right, and then just to, uh, oh, well, yes, we got to clean some more of this up. So I'll probably just clean this up off camera. Um, I'll show you here. I did make some other patterns. So there's there's the tough rod. Uh, here's the tough binding. Uh, large plate, broad head, broad axe head, and the excavator. So again, one thing maybe we'll work on. Let me go see how much this will take. If I want to make the lumber axe, this will drop entire trees, kind of like tree capitator if you've ever seen that. Instead of having to chop every single block one at a time. And that's going to take a tough rod, a tough binding. Each of these take three, uh, a broadhead axe, and a uh, creeper face. A, uh, yeah, lost the word, plate. A large plate. And those, the the axe head and the plate are going to take eight. So that's 16 plus the uh, six for the binding and uh, tough rod. I think that's right. Yeah, three and three. All right, so we could make, maybe make like an axe, uh, an iron lumber axe uh, to get started with some of the bigger stuff. Don't know. Yeah, we've got three brass left. And we need three things. All right, look, shoot, let's do it. We're here. All right, bonus time. We need a, well, no, no, no. Let's be real sure here. Yes, binding plate and um, I don't know a thing. Binding plate and axe head. Now the question will be, do we actually have this, come on, much um, iron or not? I haven't calculated it, but there's iron everywhere, so if we don't have quite enough, we'll just go grab some more and uh, finish crafting this next time around. And the binding. Okay, and we do not need any of these stone parts because they serve their purpose so we'll just chuck them over there all right what do we got in here iron on the bottom 24 somebody do the math real quick is this going to be enough probably not what is it well, it might be yeah 8 and 8 16 plus 3 and 3 it's probably just about enough so you can make this out of different pieces, and you can do some pieces out of paper, and that gives you writable and properties and all sorts of stuff. But uh, and we'll worry about that later. For uh, like the uh, the hammer is pretty cool, but for the moment, let's just go ahead and make a basic one and get a lumber axe done and call it good. Come on, it's a lot of ingots in that one little thing there. All right, that's our tough rod, and that should be all we need. Uh, yeah, I was going to just, how much do we got left? Yeah, we're almost out of lava again, so I'm not going to melt up the shoes right now in case I need an extra piece of, a uh, little bit extra lava for something. So, uh, tough binding, a... Oh, sword blade. So if we melt the sword blade down, that should give us back, wait a minute, again, almost out of lava. Okay, we still got four ingots worth. I need the tough rod cast, not the sword blade, which look awfully similar to each other. I actually thought when I put that in there, is that the right one? But I was pretty sure it was, but it's not. So, uh, yeah, we can melt that down again, get that iron back in a minute, once we have some more lava. All right, lumber axe, tough handle, broad head, and uh, there we go. 
Of course, we're clumsy with it, but this is going to be our tree capitator. Yeah. And it's going to be lots of durability. Wow, look at that. 1800 durability. And we can chop down um, iron trees, apparently, or something. I don't know. Cool. So, is it day? No, it looks like not day. Let's go chop down something real quick. And then we're going to call this an episode. Do I have my sword? Yes. Just in case. Just in case something tries to attack. Now the other thing is don't use this around your house because it will chop a 3x3x3 three by three by three area if you just chop normal stuff that's not a tree. So there we go. Tree cafetated that, that whole tree right there. We'll do this one. And there's a, an MFR Mine Factory Reloaded Rubber Tree. Let's grab him. Bam. Oh, look at that. We got some rubber out of that one, obviously. Okay, so that's it. Um, get up here and get this oak and kill this zombie. Die. Okay. That's it for now. We're going to call it, and we'll be back. Later. Ooh, berries. There's always one more thing, isn't there? Okay, good, because we were low on berries, so we'll make some more juice and uh, we'll be good to go. Alright, till next time.